What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna be answering the age-old question, the question that we've all been asking ourselves since the day we were born, which is, what is the difference between a software engineer and a software developer? And I'm even gonna go a little bit beyond that and talk about the differences between these two titles and other titles like web developer, programmer, coder, front-end engineer, back-end engineer, principal engineer, software architect, all these titles, we're gonna knock them out very concisely, but I do think that this is an important question to address. I know that when I got into software engineering, I was very confused because I was applying to boot camps or looking at coding boot camps to apply to, and some of them said that they prepared you to become a software engineer. Some of them said they prepared you to become a software developer. I was wondering which one is it, which one is better. I was really stressed out. So hopefully this will demystify things for you. So with that said, let's dive into the bread and butter of the video, software engineer versus software developer. The difference between a software engineer and a software developer is absolutely nothing. Zilch. Nada. Rien. Zero. There is no difference between a software engineer and a software developer. They both do the same thing. They both are the same thing. They both prepare for their technical interviews, coding interviews, systems design interviews using the same platform. AlgoExpert, my company, they go to algoexpert.io. They use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. They are the same thing. And anybody who tells you otherwise is either lying to you or maybe they work at a company that represents the 0.000001% of companies that distinguish the two. But believe me when I tell you that overall, in the software engineering industry as a whole, or the software development industry, you see, I'm using the two interchangeably, nobody distinguishes between a software engineer and a software developer. They're the same thing, and case in point, at Google, software engineers are called software engineers. That's their official title. At Amazon, they're called software development engineers, and sometimes for short, software developer. Why the difference? No reason at all. Now, what about things like backend engineer, frontend engineer, mobile engineer? Well, those titles are subsets of the other two titles. So you can think of a software engineer or a software developer as a rectangle, and then you can think of a backend engineer or a front end engineer as a square. It is a type of rectangle, a type of engineer. And specifically, a backend engineer or front end engineer is a software engineer who specializes in either the back end or the front end, which is a part of the software stack. A mobile engineer is a software engineer who specializes in developing mobile applications. And then there are Android engineers or iOS engineers. These are mobile engineers who specialize either in Android development or iOS development. And again, all of these sort of specialized versions of software engineers are ultimately software engineers and software developers. At some companies, like Google, for example, they often don't call you an iOS engineer. They'll just call you a software engineer, and your job will happen to involve development on iOS. Now, one title that's kind of interesting is the web developer title. A web developer ultimately is just a front-end engineer, though sometimes people will think of a web developer as lesser than a front-end engineer, like a web developer is a more junior role or just less prestigious role. But again, this is just kind of a weird preconceived notion. Ultimately, a web developer is synonymous with a front-end engineer. In fact, I would even argue that a web developer is sometimes a little bit broader than a front-end engineer because sometimes web developers will also work on the back end of their website so a web developer is more like a full stack engineer, but overall, usually web developer means front end engineer, and those two are also the same thing as a UI engineer. At Facebook, for example, front end engineers are called UIEs, UI engineers. Then you've got titles like senior software engineer, staff software engineer, principal software engineer, and all of these epithets, staff, senior, principal, all they are are seniority epithets. So a principal software engineer is a software engineer who happens to be much more senior than your typical software engineer. Staff software engineer, same thing. And this is why you'll often see some people who are really high up at companies like Google, but who really don't care about sort of outward prestige, who will still have on their LinkedIn, for example, or on their resume, software engineer, even though they have 10 years of work experience and they're actually officially called principal software engineers, but ultimately they just realize that their job is still 
a software engineer. They are a software engineer and they do software engineering work. Then software architect is kind of this weird role. Usually a software architect is effectively at the level of a staff software engineer or even a principal software engineer. The term architect usually means that they spend much more of their time doing higher level sort of software architecture work where they're designing projects or setting up projects rather than actually doing a bunch of code or feature development. But ultimately a software architect is very similar to something like a principal engineer. And then finally, the last two titles that I want to briefly talk about are programmer and coder. These are titles that you don't really hear about in the industry, but you'll often hear the general population refer to software engineers as programmers, for example, or coders. Ultimately, the general population is right. A software engineer is a programmer, a programmer is a software engineer, a software engineer does programming, right? They write code, but these terms programmer and coder are just very seldom used in the industry. Some people will think that coder and programmer are the sort of official roles that are lesser than a software engineer. They'll think that a coder or a programmer is someone who just sort of mindlessly types out code that's given to them by the software engineers, but that's just a load of crap if you ask me. Like, I have never heard of a reputable company that actually hires two separate roles, a software engineer and a programmer, where the software engineer sort of writes the code and develops it and then gives it to the programmer to type out. Like that just makes no sense in practice if you know anything about software engineering. And so there you have it, a programmer or coder, same thing as software developer or software engineer, just very rarely used as titles or terms in the industry. So with that, hopefully this demystified a ton of stuff for you. If you already knew this, but you finally heard someone else, me in this case, validate what you knew, you're finally like, yes, someone said this, someone said the truth, then hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps support me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures, and otherwise I will see you in the next video.